appraisers and welcome to my guests today who are with Aloft Appraisal and we have Hansel Dobbs and Travis Sukup. Hansel is the chief appraiser and Travis is the CEO. So gosh, I'm confused on where to start. I, I guess maybe I better start with the CEO or I'm going to get in trouble, Hansel. So, or maybe I'll throw it out to both of you. So tell me a little bit, it's a brand new company, uh, a little bit about your company and what's different about your business model. Yeah, maybe, maybe I will take that first one. So quite new company. I started working on it last year, late last year. Uh, prior to that, I was in a lot of different startups and most recently in title and escrow. And I just really fell in love with how much opportunity there is in the broader real estate transaction. I, I, I had met an appraiser, I'd, I'd talked to lenders about some of the pain points in the industry and wanted to bring my background to this industry to, to hopefully create really happy appraisers that are empowered to do their, their jobs better than, than ever before and also leverage uh, a lot of technology to make things smoother and deliver a higher quality experience for customers. So started, started working on it late last year, brought on a technical co-founder. And then since then, we've been really successful in fundraising and, and getting the capital we need to, to build all the infrastructure for this business. So Well, uh, and that's one of the unique things, actually, I think that got our attention was your uh, I don't, private equity uh, funding, which you know, doesn't come that often in our space. I mean, we have a little bit of uh, VC and PE money, but but not a lot. So that kind of allows you to fast track, I would assume, on a lot of uh, technology build, et cetera. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And and yeah. not only the technology, but other critical parts of the business. Like we, uh, we're investing heavily in what we call a loft university, and it's a full... Uh, training and development program for trainees and for existing appraisers and continuing education so that our quality bar for the appraisals that our company does produce uh, is really, really high. All right. Well, we're going to circle back to that topic because that's a topic near and dear to my heart too. So Hansel, give us a little, the audience, a little bit about your pedigree and where you've been and how you ended up uh, with Aloft. So I, I grew up around this business. My dad's a commercial real estate appraiser, MAI. So I kind of grew up going to seeing commercial properties with him. And I saw the, the flexibility of the career and, you know, his ability to take me to baseball games in the middle of the day and being able to hang out with him at the office. And I really liked the, you know, I was like, this, is this, I can't imagine sitting, you know, in an office from nine to five when I could do what my dad does and go up to the square of Rockwall, Texas. And and so I just, I really liked it from day one. And so I went to college and I became a trainee my senior year and went into appraising with my dad. And this is when things were really hopping there in the early 2000s. And so, you know, really got into the business then and eventually kind of went out on my own with a bunch of other younger appraisers that are now at different places like CoreLogic and whatnot. From there, I got, I got approached by Syntex Home Equity, went into review appraising and then we became a review appraiser at Landsafe and was a great group of people there. A lot of really great appraisers that are now all over the place. And then from there, I went to a Red Bell and helped them develop out their desktop product suite and build that panel to do those. And then I went to uh, Consolidated Analytics as their chief appraiser here in Dallas and worked there for a couple of years. And, and then I went to go and start my own appraisal business. And someone gave me a call and said, uh, you need to talk to Travis. So I did. And uh, I really like his perspective. It's, a, it's, it's coming from a whole different world. They see things very differently. I really like uh, their C, our CTO's perspective from a technology perspective. And so it's really fun to get into a room with everybody uh, with a very wide range of perspectives and backgrounds and uh, thinking about what, what, what can we do different to uh, make an appraiser's job better uh, and more productive. Excellent. Well, with that, let's take a break for commercial message and we'll be right back. We didn't build Remote Val for appraisals. We built it for appraisers. With Remote Val, you are in control. Unlike hybrid valuation, you directly gather the information, the photos and measurements you need while communicating with the homeowner. And with no travel time, Remote Val increases the number of inspections you can perform a day. Combined with 24-hour pay and our exclusive benefits, it's no wonder more appraisers are choosing Incentor Appraisal Management. 
RemoteVal is fast, easy to use, and completely free for appraisers. To see a demo of RemoteVal in action, visit IncentorAM.com. So welcome back, everybody. So Travis, you or Hansel had mentioned um, that your CTO has sort of a different perspective on things. Uh, tell us a little bit about the technology and what direction you're headed in. First and foremost, we are building workflow-based technologies. So tools to help appraisers to make more reports more efficiently and with a higher quality bar, and uh, also to streamline the actual tasks that, that are being performed. So we have centralized teams that support with data entry. We have trainees that support their supervising appraisers. And we're really, really focused now on like the simple concept of get the, get the actual flow of the appraisal right. And we think if we can do that right with, with our technology, then that unlocks a lot of future potential in what we can build. Excellent. Hansel, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I mean, we're, um, I mean, quality is a big part of this. We see quality as all, you know, we have this, we have a very strong trainee supervisor model. We have a lot of trainees on our team, a lot of new people to the industry that need to be trained on how to do appraisals and not just trained through CE courses, but trained in really practical ways. Like what does asbestos look like? And some of this training can be very short. It doesn't need to be an eight hour course. And so we kind of see quality, the same as training. And so we think that these two worlds can live really close to one another. And so when we looked at different uh, quality control systems that are already on the market, we didn't really see anything that could help us with that. So we were building something that kind of merges those two worlds. So that puts the, uh, the training kind of right there at the fingertips of that trainee who's completing that appraisal. So they know what to do and why to do it that certain way and they can kind of go down that rabbit hole if they want but it also allows that trainee to raise questions for their supervisor in a more contextual way to the appraisal and uh, we think that we can really build a really special uh, appraisal relationship between the trainee and the supervisor that's really built around this this kind of relationship and so we're trying to bring that world together a bit tighter so it's not just a simply a qc tool where you just send a revision list to an appraiser. It's, it's more of a collaborative approach to the actual appraisal that then also lifts that training up so that they're learning a lot more in the moment. Well, does that mean that the supervisors and trainees, are these on your staff or are these independent contract? They, these are staff, okay. Mm -hmm. They're all, all staff, staff appraisers and trainees. And uh, just to add to that uh, collaborative part, that's a huge part of what we do. We have all of our appraisers collaborating together. We're always focused on what's the best way to do something. And it's been really fun seeing everyone come together and, and debate on like, how, what's a better way we can do this? How can we do adjustments better? What, what else can we do to, to make sure that the appraisal report we're producing is really high quality and really defensible? And a big part of the technology is enabling that dialogue, not only between the appraiser and the trainee, but also among all the appraisers. Is your model entirely a staff model or do you also have a panel of independent contractors? 100% staff. So 100% staff, okay. Yeah, the 100% the staff approach um, allows us to do some things that you just can't do. And get with done panel. with independent contractors. No, yeah. I, that's not the first time I've heard that. So <laughs> it give, well, it does give you complete control of you know, the entire uh, throughput. So that's, uh, I like that model. Well, gentlemen, we need to take another commercial break and we'll be right back. Looking for better turn times, the ability to automate routine tasks and stay in compliance with your appraisal management processes? Evo is a state-of-the-art appraisal management technology for residential and commercial real estate lenders and AMCs and was built with the, the user in mind. Evo streamlines the appraisal experience with configurable workflow design that automates 100% of routine tasks, alerts you along the way, and gives you powerful reports to make timely decisions. It's the only platform in the market with total customizations out of the box without IT development intervention. Find out more at globaldms.com or call 877-866-2747. 
So Hansel, uh, tell us, uh, you had mentioned that you have a loft university and that's intriguing to me because I, I just think one of the big gaps that's missing in the whole ecosystem is really solid education, especially what you alluded to, just the practical stuff. What's asbestos look like? You can't learn that in a textbook. No, it, it goes so much farther beyond that. I mean, you can learn a lot from the CE courses, but we really think that there's so much more to learn that, that, you, that can be done outside of those CE courses. I mean, it goes to just creating classes where you go and interview a pool contractor. What are the best materials? What does it cost to build a pool? What goes into that cost? What does a mold really look like? Um, there's, and so we, we think there's a place here where we can build a lot of courses all the way from one minute to 30 minutes and, and really build a really amazing uh, training experience that's more contextualized to the actual appraisal for the, uh, especially for the trainees. We want our trainees to have an amazing learning experience and not something that's just put together on the fly. Everybody has a very different training experience with their supervisors growing up. We really want to build something that's uh, kind of like a, a really solid two-year model that sits on top of that coursework that you have to do to become certified. And of course, that training then goes beyond the two years. There's so much more to learn. There's learning how to do divorce appraisals, estate appraisals, listing broker appraisals, tax appeal work. There's so many different things that an appraiser can do in this field. And even some of our supervisors don't have training in some of these other areas. And we think that we can um, upskill our supervisory appraisers and certainly uh, build a really amazing career path for somebody coming into this industry. That's it's a very clear roadmap to uh, what they can eventually become over the course of five to 10 years with us. Very good. So in closing, uh, Travis, now that you've put together this great business model with staff, you're educating them well, you're bringing on trainees, you're making the profession sustainable. What do your customers have to say? Yeah, that's been a really, really delightful part of building this business so far is we're, even though we're a, a, a quite new company and a new entrant into this space, we found that our customers have been uh, really happy with what we're doing and really, um, really excited about some of the, even the smaller differences. We provide consistent updates along the way on the status of our inspections and our appraisal report delivery. We have uh, really quick turn times because we have everyone in house so we can control our turn times. So our average turn time on appraisals is about five days, five business days. And we're, we're planning on driving that down even more as we build better technology and can get more seamless with, with our overall operations. So yeah, really, really fun. We're working with national lenders and local lenders and, and lawyers and um, insurance, insurance companies. And it's, it's been great to see the really positive feedback so far. Excellent. So if an appraiser is interested in becoming employed at a loft, who would they contact? What's that contact information? They can either email careers at aloftappraisal.com or go to our website, aloftappraisal.com slash careers and apply there and learn a bunch more about us. Very good. Well, gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate you spending your time with us. Thank, Thank you for having us. When was the last time we wanted to work more for less money? The appraisal industry is headed that way. You have to do more for the same money, and now you have less time for yourself. Data Master can change that. With their easy-to-use software, Data Master lets you spend more time analyzing and less time typing. Plus, you get more information than other data import products. Head to www.datamasterusa.com buzz for more information and to learn how you can save an hour per report. Thank you, Joan, and thank you, Travis and Hansel, for joining us to discuss the future of the industry. Thanks to our listeners for joining us, as well as our sponsors for helping us keep putting these together for you. If you have an idea for a future Buzzcast or would like to be interviewed, reach out to us at info at appraisalbuzz.com. Thanks, and have a great day.